Welcome to the Employment Security Department's tutorial to create a Secure Access Washington account, also known as SAW, or S-A-W. This is the first step before you can use the department's e-services to apply for unemployment insurance and other business with the department. It is a good idea to watch this video all the way through before setting up your account to avoid common issues that may delay your benefits. Thank you for joining us, and let's get started. First, we will start at the website of the Employment Security Department, which is esd.wa.gov. Please note, this page is likely to change as we continue to improve our site, but the links you will see should always be on the home page. They might just move around a little bit. On the home page, you can see a link to our user guides and a link to the technical support page, in case you need help while you're getting your account set up. These can be very helpful, and it may be useful to have them open while you're working through these steps. When you're ready, above those support links, you will see a blue link titled Sign in or Create an Account. Click that link and let's get started. Before you proceed, it is important to note that if you already have a SAW account, you are best off reusing that account. If you can't remember your username or password, don't worry, we can recover those without a call to our help desk. It is possible to recover an account on your own with just your email address. We'll talk more about that in a moment. If you are not able to access the email account associated with your previous SAW account, please see our technical support page for help. If you think it is possible you have a Secure Access Washington account already, go ahead and give it a try before creating a new account. This is the login page for eServices. You'll see a link at the top of the page to our technical support page. This is a great resource if you have questions about logging in or creating a new account. Let's start by checking to see if you already have a SAW account. If you're unsure if you have an account already, you can click Click Here to see if you have a SAW account near the Sign In button in the lower left-hand corner. Then just type an email address you have access to, and we will email the usernames we have associated with your account to that email address. So if you're unsure if you have an account, it is a great idea to try looking it up by your email address first. And if you have a few different email addresses, try them all. Okay, now back to the sign-in screen. Remember, you can always get back here by going to esd.wa.gov and clicking the login button. If you're sure you don't already have an account, click the button titled Create a New Account to get started. To start, you'll fill out your personal information. Let's go over these fields quickly. Type in your legal first name, your legal last name, and your email address. You will need to retype your email address to confirm it and you will need access to this account in the registration process, so be sure you're able to check that email. Then choose a username. If it's already taken, the system will notify you and you'll need to choose a different one. Then enter a password. The password must be at least 10 characters long and include an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a number. Then retype that password to confirm it. Choose a security question and type the secret answer. Then check the box titled, I am not a robot, and click register your account. Next, we'll send you an activation link to the email address you filled out on the previous page. In that email, there will be a link to activate your account, and you need to click it. So let's do that next. Open up your email through whatever application or website you normally use to check your email, and look for an email from noreply at esd.wa.gov. Click on the link that says, Activate your eServices account. Why does it say Secure Access Washington in the subject line of the email? Well, the account we are creating will work for many Washington services. Our department uses the statewide Secure Access Washington, or SAW, to manage your username and password, so you don't have to remember a different one for every state service. eServices, on the other hand, is the name of the Unemployment Insurance Application and Benefit website. So clicking this link will confirm that you've created a new Secure Access Washington username and password, and the next step will be to activate your eServices account and link that securely to your social security number. So click this link to activate your account and you will be redirected back to eServices. Now log in with your username and password you just chose a moment ago while creating the account. This will confirm and activate the username and password. You now have a SAW account that you can use to log into many Washington services. Next, we need to set up your account in our unemployment system called eServices. To start, 
We need to ask you if you are registering for yourself or for your business. If you are registering for unemployment benefits, you're registering for yourself. Click the orange button, then click continue. We need some information from you to verify your identity. This may be used later, so it's important to fill this out correctly. Let's highlight a couple of fields that can sometimes be confusing. For a previous last name, you only need to enter your previous last name if you recently got married or divorced and change your name because of that within the last year. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. For your social security number, enter it without spaces or dashes, just the numbers. For your zip code, only enter the five digits of your zip code. No additional hyphens or numbers are needed. Okay, now click next. On the next screen, you will need to confirm your mailing address. You don't see it here in this video, but you will be given a choice between the standardized USPS or Postal Service address or the one you entered. Choose the standardized address if it's correct, as it will ensure any mailings arrive to you safely. If the standardized address is incorrect, choose the one that you entered. After that, we've created your account. You have successfully created your SAW account and you have registered in eServices. You can now click on Apply for Unemployment Benefits to start your application. Before we move on, some common questions. What if an account already exists for your social security number? That means you previously created a SAW account. In the Sign In to eServices page, click Click here if you're having trouble signing in and you'll be able to request a new password or find your old username. Next. What if you receive an error message stating, we can't verify the information you entered? In that case, you'll need to call the SAW help desk to assist in verifying your information. Next, what if you entered your social security number incorrectly and you noticed it after you created your account? In this case, you'll also need to call the SAW help desk to deactivate your account, then create a new one. Before we conclude, some other common questions. What if you can't remember your username? As we mentioned earlier, you can look up your username by email from the login page. And what if you forget your password? No problem. You can reset your password from the login page also. What if an account already exists with your social security number? As we mentioned before, that means you previously created a SAW account. The fastest way to solve this is to log in using your older SAW account. Again, on the sign in page for eServices, click the link titled, click here if you're having trouble signing in you'll be able to request a new password or find your old username. We also recently updated our system to resolve this issue automatically for many customers who were experiencing it. If you are one of them, you can try logging in with your existing username and password, the one that you know, to see if your account was fixed. If not, follow the directions on the technical support page. If you entered your social security number incorrectly, you will need to call the SAW help desk to deactivate your account, then create a new one. And lastly, what if you've applied before? Should you create a new account? No, you'll want to use the same account and you can open a new claim from that account. Do you need to know more information? Start on our technical support page. You can find a link on the eServices login page or the homepage of esd.wa.gov next to the sign in button. And you can find answers to questions about unemployment on our unemployment page. And you can find a link to our guide for unemployed workers there too. Thank you for your patience while we bring on new team members, expand our call center hours, and do our very best to get Washingtonians the support they need during this crisis. Stay well, Washington, and wash your hands.